In this video, I'm going to talk to you about end behavior for exponential functions. So remember, exponential functions are in the form y equals a b to the x. And for end behavior, we're predicting what's happening on the happening on the ends of my graphs as I go out to infinity and out to negative infinity. So anytime we see end behavior, this is kind of like our formula. As x goes to infinity, f of x goes to, and that's what you're filling in this piece here. And then as x goes to negative infinity, f of x goes to, and you're filling in this blank space here. So it's not really a formula, but kind of anytime you see end behavior, you want to fill in this blue piece. That's the format that it needs to be in. And then those red question marks are what you're going to answer. So just a quick recap before we do this. Don't forget that f of x means y. So we're predicting up or down where it's going. And then as x goes to infinity, if I draw a little coordinate axis here, my x is left and right. Positive infinity is over here. So as I go to the right, I want to know what's happening to the y values, okay? Because these are my y values. And then as I go to the left, as x goes to negative infinity, I want to know what's happening because over here is negative infinity. So this is on the left. I want to predict what's happening to my y values. Okay, so just a quick little recap before we take a look at these examples. So I have y equals 3 to the x. This is a growth function because my b value is bigger than 1. You can 100% take a look at your calculator in order to graph this. So I'm going to go to y equals clear out anything I have in there, and put in 3 to the x, take a look at my graph. Here's what it looks like. Our basic exponential function is increasing, it has a y-intercept at 0, 1, and its asymptote is on the x-axis. So I'm just going to sketch a picture for us. And I'm going to sketch this in, don't forget this is your asymptote. So, as x goes to infinity, what's happening to f of x? Well, x is going to infinity on this side. So on the right side, my y values keep getting bigger and bigger because it's pointing up. So this is going to infinity. And then as x goes to negative infinity, I want to know what's happening to the y values on the other side. So over here, I have negative infinity. Well, my graph is leveling off. It's continuing. It's not going down. So it's approaching that asymptote. And that asymptote is on the x-axis, so it's approaching 0. So this is your end behavior for the graph of y equals 3 to the x. Let's take a look at another one y equals one-third to the x. So this time I have a decreasing function or a decay because b is less than zero. So my graph is going to look like this with my asymptote here. Once again, feel free to pause and put this in your calculator if you need to to take a look at it. So I have as x goes to infinity, f of x goes, and we're going to fill that in. And then as x goes to negative infinity, because remember, this is kind of like your formula almost. Whenever you see end behavior, you start with this. So as x goes to infinity, meaning on the right-hand side, as I'm approaching positive infinity, where is my graph going? The y values are getting closer and closer and closer to that asymptote. My asymptote is the x-axis, so the y value is 0. On the left side, as I get closer and closer to negative infinity, my y values are growing. They're going up. They're pointing up towards positive infinity. So here is your end behavior for this graph, y equals one-third to the x power. Let's take a look at another one. This time, I have y equals 3 to the x plus 2. So I still have a growth, but this plus 2 tells me I moved up 2 units. So if you want to, type it in your calculator, 3 to the x, like we had before, except we have a plus 2. 
So if I look at my graph, my asymptote is no longer on the x-axis because my graph move up, moved up two units, so my asymptote did as well. So if I sketch a picture, here's my asymptote, here's my y-intercept, and here's my growth. So if I want to describe the end behavior, I'm starting off as I always do. As x goes to infinity, we want to talk about where y goes, or f of x, and the same thing as it goes to negative infinity. So, on the right, as x approaches positive infinity, where is my graph going? What's happening to my y values? They're getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. They're pointing up. So they're pointing up towards positive infinity. On the left side, as x approaches negative infinity, what's happening to my graph? What's happening to those y values? They're leveling off. They're getting closer and closer to my asymptote. They're never going to cross that asymptote. That's what it's there for. It's kind of like a fence. It's stopping the function. It's not going down. So they're stopping at 2 because that's my asymptote. So here is my end behavior for this function. If you notice, your asymptote is always involved somewhere in your end behavior. In the other two examples, my asymptote was the x-axis, so zero was involved in my end behavior. In this case, my asymptote is y, equal to, y equals two, which is involved on the bottom line. Let's take a look at one more before we finish. Y equals one-third to the x plus four. So it's a decay graph because my b value is between zero and one, and this plus four means I moved up four units. So if you want to, you can go to your calculator, type it in, alpha y equals for your fraction, don't forget about that, to the power of x. Also, don't forget to hit the right arrow to come down from the exponent before you put that plus four in. Take a look at the graph. As we predicted, it's a decreasing function, and it was vertically shifted up four units. So I'm going to sketch a picture. My asymptote is now here. It used to be on the x-axis, but it moved up four units. And here's my graph. So as I always do for end behavior, I'm starting with as x approaches infinity, f of x goes to, and we're going to fill that in. And then as x goes to negative infinity, we want to fill in what's going to happen to f of x as well. So as f of x goes to, I'm sorry, as x goes to infinity, so positive infinity is on the right side. So on the right side of my graph, what's happening to the y values? Where are they going? They're leveling off against this asymptote once again. They're not going down. That arrow is not pointed towards negative infinity. It's kind of pointed horizontally because it's going to get really, really, really close to 4 but never cross over it. So as x goes to infinity, f of x is approaching 4. On the left side, as x goes to negative infinity, where is my graph going? My y values are getting bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. The arrow is pointed up. So it's going to positive infinity. So here is the end behavior for this graph. Once again, my asymptote of y equals 4 from my vertical shift up 4 is included somewhere in my end behavior.